No, you've got nums. Ah. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. If you have watched our previous video, you would have seen we did a Waitrose haul. Well, you were, you you were busy. I was busy having my crap hoarded away, hauled away, but you were hauling food. <laughs> so this is part of um, Waitrose's new vegan range. So these are the crisp crumbed fishless goujons. Now I've not had much good experience <laughs> with <laughs> fish substitutes. Now you never liked fish, did you? Uh, I. I, I I remember eating, was it filet I, of fish? I used to love those. From oh, McDonald's. Right. Down. Um, I'm going to try one of these without lemon on it first. It'll come down. But yeah, it? I used to love filet of fishes when I was a pescatarian. Because of the mayo. I think it um, because of the tartar sauce, because I yeah. love tartar sauce. Tartar sauce, that's um, what I was trying to think of. My nan always used to give me cotton chips, and I used to love that, but I just didn't like the bony bit, because it just yeah. reminded me what it was. Because it is such a strong flavour, after not eating it for a while, having anything really fishy yeah. makes me go But I have had some nice toe fish. I think um, Spread Eagle does the best toe fish. wrap it in the nori. Oh. But then I've had other stuff with nori and I hated it. Like you made me smell some nori. Well yeah, let me go and get those because you didn't want those. No, I'm going to have a chip while he's doing that. So I bought these also from Waitrose. These are green nori sprinkle. Can I just say, what chips are these? I'm going to put those up there. Uh, they are Waitrose's chips. These are bloody lovely. Yeah, they're really thick, aren't they? Mm. I mean, it tells you to like cook them for 15 minutes, but mine were in for 40 minutes or so because I just didn't think they were done enough. No, no, these are these are nice. I love chips. So have you tried the goujon? Not yet. I've gone wait for you. I I have actually had a little bit no, in the kitchen. You have. Poor Teddy. You think she's going to give it to him? <laughs> this is really unfair. I know, yeah. Right, here goes. So I've got my goujon. It's got like a spicy flavour. It's not too fishy. Do you know what they remind me of? They remind me of those soy fish Ooh. that we had at... Do you remember when we went to... Oh, what, King um, Cook Daily? Cook Daily. Yeah. It's like those prawns that Ooh. you had, the soy, soy protein prawns. It's a bit like those, but nicer, I think. They're thicker. These are actually really nice. Mm. And I actually really like the batter. Yeah. The batter is lovely. It's like weekend food. I'd definitely make a vegan tartar sauce to go with them, I think. I think that would yeah. really... I'd run out of how, mayo. How do you make vegan tartar sauce, by the way? I use capers. Well, capers go in tartar sauce anyway, yeah. don't they? So what do you do? Mix it with mayo? Just mix it with mayo. I oh, think yeah, because it's vegan mayo, isn't look. it? I think I might do that. Right, yeah. I'm going to try one with lemon on it now, because I always used to like mm. fish with lemon on it. Mm. From what I remember, cod doesn't taste of anything. How do it... True. It doesn't really taste of much. Yeah, that's true. And I suppose there may be appealing to the people that don't like that fishy taste because mm. I think it's quite a common thing, isn't it, for you not to like. For I'm trying to think to like. what they taste of. What have they got in them? Obviously, if you can't have soya, I'm sorry, you can't have these. And if you can't have gluten, you can't have them. Yeah. The primary ingredient is jackfruit. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Yeah, I think that gives it the texture. Ah. Soya bean oil, banana blossom, oyster mushrooms, mm. cornstarch, tapioca starch, soya protein, flour. Soya protein is not one of the main ingredients. I wonder if the banana blossom, because I've never had that before, it, no. it's like quite a floral flavour. Can you is taste it? that? I can taste something. That's what I was looking at the thing for, because I was looking for something that was a little bit... It's got a real kind of yeah perfume to it when we look at your traffic lights this is going to upset you <laughs> they're quite high in fat 27 mm. percent of your recommended intake and saturates 17 percent. oh that's quite high yeah with a lot of processed food i mean you've got yeah. a lot of salt but it's actually quite low in the sugar the thing is it's like things like this they are a convenience food and i gotta love a convenience food yeah once in a while. and you don't eat it every day i mean some no. people do i guess but I wouldn't want to eat this every day. No, we've got salad with it. it takes the fun out of it as well, I think, if you're mm -hmm. eating it. What do you reckon Paul would make of this? Actually, I think he would like it. Mm. What do you reckon Jeremy's making of that? He liked it. I gave him a mm. little bit to try. To be honest, it's making me want to go to Waitrose. But I have a freezer to empty, so I can't. So I just sit here and chat to you. Ha, 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 ha. It's very windy outside. Summer seems to have gone. £3.50 for a box. Mm. It's a little bit more expensive than what we do pay. All they do isn't chicken as well ones. 
For fast food, mm. convenience food, I'd give it five out of five. I'm now thinking, ooh, when can I pop into, I think it's one to John nearest Waitrose. I think those shops, Marks and Spencers and Waitrose, are nice for the processed food. Yeah. It's a little bit better, but then I do like Sainsbury. I, I think everyone's upping their game so much. Yeah, now. and Asda, I don't know what they're like now. Maybe we need to do another haul at Asda. Want to do an Audi one? Yeah, oh yeah, because there's one down the road from us. Yeah. Just Because they've got a whole new range. Oh, have they? They've got a coleslaw, mm. and I haven't had the guts to try it yet because mm. I love the Marks and mm. Like the Marks and Spencers one, I will literally just eat out of the tub. Oh, yeah, I'd do that. And I love the Marks and Spencers pizzas, but. Yeah, I'd like to try some of Aldi's. Have you ever tried their sweet pakoras? Their no. sweet potato pakoras. No. Paul absolutely loves those. Are They're they just... spicy though? No, mm. not really spicy. Mm. Not not. I couldn't feed it to you, spicy. Yeah. These have got a spicy kick, but they're not. Because when I got them out of the oven, you were like, "Are they spicy?" Mm. But they're not. They've just got that flavour. I bet you can't eat the corn spicy. I hate those. Oh, I hated spicy bean burgers. I hate the texture. Mm. But those corn spicy... Oh, my God. Uh-uh. No. Then, I mean, I would eat them if I was, like, around a friend's or something. I oh, would my eat God, them. I love them. They wouldn't be my choice. I love them. <laughs> them baked beans and chips. Mm. Oh, that's a horrible combo. Why? <laughs> spicy with baked beans. Weirdo. <laughs> I'd put vinegar on my baked beans. <laughs> What weird food pairing do you do? Well, I used to think Marmite and peanut butter was weird. But no, actually, but they've actually really released good. it now. Yeah. Like, I think we've talked about my Branston pickle and mm. mashed potato mm. one, haven't we? I'll tell you what I do do. Which what is do really, you do do do? I steam up some kale, add some pineapple, tin pineapple, then add a spoon of peanut butter, and then add some Tabasco. It's really nice. Well, you mix it all Yeah, in. it goes really creamy. It's a proper dish. So that's not weird because someone else came up with it. Yeah. Isn't there anything that you have that you have developed as a from childhood that other people would think weird? I don't think so. Any of you got anything that you think's weird? I mean, to be honest, a lot of people think that vegan food is weird. I know, but we're talking mainly to vegan shit. <laughs> Thankfully, me and Phil agree on this one. Paul always sends a photo to his friend of my roast dinner mm. because he cooks roast dinner most weekends mm. when I'm there. I have to have ketchup with it. Now, I don't see a chip as any different to a roast potato. No, it's not. So that's why I like that combination. Yeah. And I don't know whether it comes from when I first went vegetarian and meat alter, well, you know, mm. the protein section of your roast dinner was quite dry usually. Yeah. And I don't know whether, because I also didn't know that we could have gravy and things like that, so. I don't think that's weird though. No, but he seems to think it's disgust. Um, his mm. mate seems to think it's disgusting and weird. Tomato oh. ketchup gets a bad rep. Oh, it's freaking amazing! I love tomato ketchup. Jeremy can't stand it. He's a mayo or chili sauce person. You, you must be the one who likes salad cream. Then. Mm. I love salad cream. I used to have it on chips at school. Oh yeah, that's quite weird, isn't it? Salad cream on chips. My flatmate does. He has salad cream on virtually everything. Mm. Oh. I've put vinegar in baked beans before. Yeah, that's what I do. Mm. I, I put quite vinegar like that, just to water it down a little bit. I just, I just like having that extra mm. zing. I, I mean, I like my chips to swim in vinegar, mm. so it hurts your eyes yeah. if you go anywhere near my chips. <laughs> so be warned. My friends used to moan when I used to get chips. It used to be quickly nab a chip if you want one, because <laughs> you know they're going to be swimming in vinegar soon. I don't know why. That's funny. I love it. So yeah, big thumbs up from me for those mm. fishless goujons from Waitrose. Waitrose, you've done us proud. Mm. Well done, Waitrose. And have you tried them? Uh, I, can't I thought you were going to put your arm around me. <laughs> <laughs> you me there. Have you tried them? Let us know. No. Let us know in comments. And don't forget to like and... And subscribe and tell me your weird food combinations. I like yeah. to know what weird things you eat. Yeah.